if you're new here. And yes, I changed my hair. I went a little darker and cut it. I'm loving it for this fall. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys my chili recipe. I will show you everything you need. I will link the recipe down below. It is so good. Cannot have chili during the fall time. So I thought I would show you guys that. So let's just jump right in. All right, my son Bryce wanted to pop in and say hello. He just woke up from his nap. Can you say hi, everyone? Say we're gonna make some chili, okay? All right, so you need some kidney beans, two cans of, um, two 15 ounce cans. You're gonna need some sweet corn, whatever kind of corn you need or use. And then you're gonna need um, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. So I like to mix um, this, the Rotel brand with, it comes with, um, or it has green chilies in it and I got the mild. So I got two of these, you okay? Two of those and then one regular one. So, cause these are 10 ounce cans. So I like to like mix that up, have a little spice to it. Then you're gonna need some dried oregano and then you're gonna need some chili powder, some cumin, um, some red cayenne pepper. Then you're gonna need, you okay? Um, you're gonna need some chicken broth. Then you're gonna need some fresh cilantro if you like that, a medium size red pepper, um, a yellow, one yellow onion, and then um, to garnish, I got a jalapeno, so jalapeno, cheddar cheese, sour cream, um, and tortilla chips, so whatever you guys like to top that off with. So, And then you're going to either need ground turkey or ground beef, a pound of whatever one you want. I go back and forth, but I'm gonna use ground beef tonight. I'm feeling that kind. And if you want a healthier version, use some ground turkey or ground chicken. So, sorry my little guy, so chatty. You're just so chatty. <laughs> you say hello. Are you gonna try some chili? I don't know, it might be too spicy for you. Okay guys, let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop our yellow onion. So my husband is just chopping away and he chops the onion in different ways. So we have like different textures of the onion. So you'll see some like smaller chunks and then some bigger chunks. We just like it that way and it makes more of a texture. <laughs> So now we're gonna chop up our red bell pepper. Just taking the middle out and just gonna chop those in medium sized pieces. So now we're just gonna add some oil to our pan. So you do about two tablespoons, I believe. So now you're gonna need some minced garlic. So we buy the stuff from Costco. And if you don't have minced garlic, just get three cloves and then you're just gonna chop it up finely and add that in with the oil. So now I'm just adding the yellow onion with the bell pepper and you are gonna saute this for about five to seven minutes. So now I'm just gonna stir everything together. And like I said, you're just gonna let that saute and let it cook. All right, so now that's been sauteed for seven minutes, we're gonna add in our ground beef. So you'll add your ground beef or your ground turkey, whatever you decide to use. Once you add the meat, you're just going to mix everything together and you're going to want to let this cook until there's no more pink meat. Alright, so now after that's been cooked through and it's not pink anymore, you're going to start adding your seasoning. So I'll link all the measurements down below. And 
then once you add all the seasonings, you're just gonna wanna stir it all together for about 20 seconds. So now we're gonna start adding our diced tomatoes, our kidney beans, and corn, and we're just gonna put that all together. adding in the chicken broth and then you'll just stir that all together all right and then once everything's added you're just gonna let it sit there and you're gonna bring it to a boil and once that's boiling then you're gonna let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes So all the flavors get all all juicy and good inside. So now I'm gonna make some cornbread. So I'm gonna use the Marie Callender's um, low-fat cornbread. Super good. This is one of my favorite kinds, and I'm gonna actually make it into muffins. That's like my favorite way to make it, and then it kind of helps you not overeat cornbread. I know, yeah. Um, not overeat it. So it's like the perfect little size. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just spray it with some coconut oil spray. I don't have any um, cupcake liner, so this is another option to do so it doesn't stick. degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing you want to do is combine one and a half cups of water. Yes, Brycey. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. So, one and a half cups of water. Okay. I'm just going to put this whole pouch in. This is super easy, you guys. That's why I love it too. I'm all about the easy life right now. All right, so we're gonna mix this until all the, the lumps are away. Sorry, my kitchen is a disaster, but this is real life. Um, we just have everything out, so gotta do what you gotta do when you're cooking with an almost one-year-old. I have him in his little locker right now, but he loves watching me cook. He's my little helper. But yeah, you guys, my kitchen smells so good. I'm obsessed with making chili in the fall time. Like I said, it's not super cool here in Cali, but I just gotta pretend. We just put the air conditioning on in our house to like 70 degrees. We just make it cold, and then I light up some candles, and I get in some sweats and a comfy sweater, and I just pretend. That's what you just do if you don't have the legit weather. All right, so now that that's all mixed together, I'm just gonna add three-fourths of the mix to the tray. So you don't want it all the way to the top, otherwise your muffins will kind of overflow. There you see me trying to get Brycey away from the oven. Um, so yeah, just fill up your cupcake tray. All right, so now that's all done, and now I'm gonna add my cornbread to the oven so just gonna open that up all right and then I'm just gonna let that bake for about 15 minutes while that's baking my husband's just chopping up our toppings so we're just chopping up some cilantro chopping up some jalapeno if you don't want it too spicy don't include the seeds but it actually it wasn't that spicy if you chop it up really small adding some lime all right so the chili is done it's been 45 minutes so my husband is just serving my bowl for me
right, so now we're just adding the toppings to our chili. So we're starting off with the cilantro, then adding some of the jalapenos. And then now just adding a dollop of sour cream. I love adding sour cream to the chili. It makes a really nice creamy texture. So now we're just sprinkling some cheese. We're just using like a Mexican cheese. Um, you can use anything you like, mozzarella, pepper jack, whatever sounds good to you. So we're just sprinkling that like so. And then we're just gonna add some lime. That gives it a really nice flavor as well. So that's a little secret tip for you guys. So now we're just gonna add some tortilla chips and we're gonna try out the pumpkin tortilla chips from Trader Joe's and see if that tastes good. muffins are done we're just gonna drizzle some honey this is makes it a nice touch and it just adds a little extra sweetness to that and I just use the honey from Costco this big jug of it so now I'm just at the table got our candles lit and the chili is ready to eat you guys it smells delicious gonna try a little taste of it right now but I'm gonna show you guys uh, my honest review of how it tastes So I'm just going to take a quick bite for you guys and let you know how it is. Mmm. Looks so good. I'm going to try it with the pumpkin tortilla chips. This is my first time trying those. Mm. Wow, those are really bomb. It has like a little hint of cinnamon to it, but it goes really well with the chili. It's a little salt and sweet. Mm. Wow, you guys, you will love this recipe. The only thing we um, changed up, we actually ended up using two pounds of ground beef, so it's more meat in there, so if you want more meat, add two pounds instead of one pound, but that's the only difference we made. And then you just garnish with whatever toppings you guys like. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really enjoy doing these types of videos, so give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new. And like I said, I'll link the recipe down below for you guys to check out and try yourself. Leave in the comments and let me know if you ended up trying this recipe and what you thought. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.